Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to go back over a couple of nursery rhymes that we haven't done for a very long time. So the first one we'll say is Dr. Foster. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He stepped in a puddle right up to his middle and never went there again. Now I have another version of Dr. Foster for you and this one is written by Richard Edwards. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester on a winter's day. An icicle froze on the end of his nose and didn't fall off till May. I have a poem for you now called The Beach Boys by Claire Bevan. Other children on the sand take a bucket in each hand, build a castle, see it rise underneath the seagull skies. Golden towers, seaweed flowers, salty moats for feather boats, pebble walls by waterfalls, shells and stones and white, white bones. Mark the windows, line the floors, decorate the palace doors. We just work like seaside moles, digging lots of muddy holes. Miranda the Castaway by James Mayhew Miranda was shipwrecked. She was cast away on a desert island all by herself. She waited to be rescued, but no one came. Miranda didn't know what she was supposed to do. The sharks knew what to do. Miranda watched them eat fish. She watched the turtles eat seaweed and the birds eat fruit and drink nectar, and the snakes eat birds and the monkeys eat nuts. She saw that even the spiders knew what to eat. She wanted some food and water, but sea water was too salty and the pools were full of insects. At last, she found a spring with fresh clean water and she drank some. Then she took the braces off her teeth, tied them to a shoelace and caught a fish. She couldn't bear to eat it, so she threw it back into the sea. Then Miranda wondered if there was any fruit she could eat. She struggled tr through the trees and recognised mangoes and starfruit, bananas and nuts. She ate lots of them. By now Miranda was tired and wanted to go to sleep. The sharks rested in the water. The turtles had laid their eggs on the sand, the birds had their nests, the snakes and spiders their holes, and the monkeys their trees. Miranda decided to sleep on the beach under the stars. But it was cold and the sounds of the sea and the island kept her awake. So the next morning Miranda decided to build a house of her own. She thought she would be safest in a tree. She put logs between the branches for the floor, gathered leaves and wove them together with creepers to make walls and filled the gaps with mud. She magnified the sun with her glasses and started a fire. It would keep her warm at night and be useful for cooking. It was hard work fetching water, so she hollowed out bamboo sticks to make giant straws that ran all the way from the spring to the treehouse. Every day Miranda found new things to use on the island. She used shells to eat off and coconuts to drink from. She pulled threads from the vines to use as a string and made necklaces with stones and shells and a sun hat out of leaves. She planted seeds and grew flowers and vegetables in her garden. Miranda built more and more. She built a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom, even a toilet. Miranda was having fun on the island. No school, no bedtime, definitely no bath and hair wash at night. It seemed she had everything she could possibly need. One day she saw a ship and she waved and shouted, but nobody saw her because she was so small. Although she waited for a ship to come back, it never did. Miranda felt lonely. The sharks had each other. The turtles had a big family. So did the monkeys and all the other animals. Even the spiders had a family. She tried to make friends with them, 
but it wasn't the same. So Miranda built a raft to sail away on. She was sad to leave her garden and her treehouse, but she didn't belong on the island. Miranda wanted her family and it was time to go home.